Welcome to the Digital Caliper Roundup series of videos. This video is going to be an unboxing and a full video review of the Eye Gauging Origin Cal. This is Eye Gauging's version of an Absolute Origin Digital Caliper. And this digital caliper actually did win the full roundup of seven digital calipers. In terms of value for the dollar, accuracy, repeatability, and precision, this is a really good digital caliper all around. In the box, you have your digital caliper, and it does come in a little plastic bag, but I've omitted that here. And you get your extra battery. It does use the CR2032 battery. I consider that an upgrade. I like this 2032 battery better because we've been using them in PCs for pretty much since the dawn of the PC. Uh, pretty good battery all around, very commonly available, and uh, they last a long time. Looking at the caliper itself, it's very similar in form, function, and design to the Mitutoyo Digimatic Absolute Origin Digital Caliper. In fact, you can tell that they based the design of the Origin Cal right off of the Digimatic. Um, Mitutoyo's got, got this design down, and there's only a few things they could improve upon it, and uh, they actually did improve upon the battery compartment design on the Origin Cal. So very similar in design. Pretty much exactly the same in terms of function. Both have four buttons that perform exactly the same function. Both are absolute origin digital calipers. If you're not sure what absolute origin means, it means that the caliper always knows where it is in relationship to its set zero or origin point at all times. It doesn't matter how fast you move the measuring body. There's no speed limit. It doesn't matter if you come out here, set an increment mode, and measure in relationship to a certain spot, you can always come back to your set origin point, and it always knows where it is in relationship to zero. That kind of uh, accuracy in relationship to zero is very important for doing fine measurement. Um, if you do a lot of engineering prototyping, you want to know that your caliper knows where it is in relationship to zero at all times. If your zero value is off, all your other measurements are going to be off. So zero is vital on a digital caliper. And that's why an absolute origin digital caliper is a, you know, a suggested upgrade. If you're using a cheaper Chinese digital caliper without absolute origin and you're doing things that require fine measurement, I would recommend spending a little bit more and getting the eye gauging origin cal. They did improve the battery compartment to door. Like I said, uh, there's no plastic nub that's gonna break off. There's just a little tiny friction point there little rubber cover maintains the IP54 rating and your 2032 battery sits there nice and smooth nice solid battery engagement the whole thing feels really well designed and it doesn't feel like it's ever gonna break in terms of the body design you can tell it's built to tight tolerance specs just like the absolute origin from Mitutoyo very smooth lines you can tell they took pride in the manufacturing. There isn't any slop or play in between the ruling body and the measuring body. There isn't any gap in here in the internal measuring face. When outside zero is set, inside zero equals outside zero, which is something I found on the cheaper ones. Um, the internal measuring draws actually had a small gap in between them. And uh, that's why I recommend going with an eye gauging or go up to the Mitutoyo or the Starrette. So in terms of feel and smoothness, it's right on par with the Mitutoyo. Nice buttery feel. Feels very smooth. Feels very solid. Feels just like you're using a Mitutoyo, except it looks slightly different and it has a different name on it. It does have the data input port, just like a lot of the Mitutoyos do, and it does use the same exact data cable. So you can interchange your data cables. Um, the Mitutoyo cable will work on your origin cow. And I found it really nice to be able to just uh, measure the object and put the data into the computer. Uh, I did some prototyping and I, I did a video showing um, how, how quickly you can prototype something by using this data entry button. It makes uh, doing CAD work uh, nice and easy. Uh, so check out that video for the full whammy on the data cable. In terms of uh, performance across the entire average data set, 
It performed uh, just slightly different than the Mitotoyo. In fact, uh, compared to the differences between uh, these two and the rest of the calipers in the series, uh, you could almost call the difference negligible. Um, so it's right on par with the Mitotoyo. In terms of um, total variance or accuracy across the measuring face, uh, it performs right on par with the Mitotoyo. If you measure something at full measuring depth, and then measure out here at the tip, you're going to get within half a thousand to a thousand. And the rated spec on most digital calipers is 1.5 thousand. So if you're seeing more than 1.5 thousand difference between full depth measurement and measurement out here at the, sur at the tip, uh, it means your caliper is not within spec. So it performs well under its tolerance or rated, rated slot value, just like the Mitotoyo. It's a great digital caliper all around, and I have no problems recommending it as my number one pick. Be sure to check out the full digital caliper roundup review to see them all compared at the same time, and to see which one was the runner-up to the Origin Cal, and which ones you should absolutely avoid.